Good morning, YouTube. Sir Bob White here on July 3rd, the day before we celebrate Independence Day here in the U.S. So for all you veterans, thank you for your service. And I'm um, going to do some special stuff. First off, I'm going to grab my destroyer, which I've been not really kind of half-heartedly leveling. And it's almost what you'd call 6 of 10. Actually, let's check him out right before. Yep, time to finish my raids. Thank you, watch. And I have a smart watch. It has buttons on the front and beeps. It's very smart. And okay, it does 270 damage or er, attack to nearby foes and stuns from 1.4. Four seconds boost attack speed and 30 30% deflects 30% damage cooldown 7.2 seconds. I don't know why they do the 2.2 seconds. Has five life straight, so not a bad hero. But check this out. I got, I rolled a five for five berserk on a hero board, and I'm really debating who. Who to give it to? I'm thinking maybe a druid, because I have a 4 of 5, or a 3 of 5 druid. Berserk druid? I really don't know. I'm kind of getting a little off topic, though. But this, I definitely need an answer within the next day or two. So anybody in Hulkan, or anybody, if you want to post down. See, I already have a 4 of 5 berserk. I'm not going to replace that on him. Um, I thought about going with my little orc spade, but he has revive, and I really like the revive on him. Even if it's a 1 awesome tank. A little bit different scenarios, but but I bought a pumpkin duke. And you know guys, I have a lot of pumpkin dukes, so that would be an awesome 5-5 five, five revive, or uh, 5-5 five, five berserk on a pumpkin duke. I don't know. So, um, if you have a I have 4-5 or five on him, I'm not going to replace him, even if he's uh, high on a uh, thing, because uh, high on talent. Because I could just make another one, and just have a backup. So, let me know what you think, guys, and um, I appreciate it. Okay, so no. Now, no, 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 I'm back to Destroyer. Okay, let's go back and consume him. Get him, he started at 270, and he's going to go, oh, there's 6 and 9. That well, one is fine. Okay, 6 is 9, bam! What's that? 6 of 10, good, yeah. I keep saying 6 of 9, 6 of 10 now. Deals 300% damage, so he goes up 30% in the attack. To nearby foes, it stuns them one point five seconds. For five seconds, boost attack speed by thirty five percent, deflects by thirty five percent damage. Can be seven seconds, so you lost that point two a second. Still has level five life strain. So now I have. Let me see here. Two. I have two. And what I'm gonna do is something a little differently here. We're going to see if we have a clock. Timer. Let's see. Timer. Nope, wrong one. On my handy dandy smartwatch. Made by Iron Man. Okay, we're gonna go. I'm gonna compare how fast a Vlad can do it. Of course, he's four or five war god. Um, that'll definitely come into play. And he has six of ten blood banquet. Uh, summons back for 4 seconds to bite nearby enemies, and restore HP causes 120% damage. Flick Sphere for 1.5 seconds, six, his cooldown is 6 seconds. So you, you can see he has, um, destroyer. destroyer can get his proc off just a little bit slower, I guess, 1 second slower. Um, they have the same level, they, they're they not the same level as far as, um, heroes, obviously. But I think um, they're going to be pretty close as far as, let's see what his attack is. His attack is uh, 4472, and he has uh, attack speed of 1.5. So let's see what Vlad's is. So he has 200 more attack, and he has a slightly faster attack speed of 1.2. So, I mean, health at this point doesn't matter because we both know they can do them. So, I'm going to start one, time it, and see how long it takes each of them to do it. And I'm going to only going to time after I drop the heroes. So, um, real simple. Oh, my, oh, I have destroyer here. So, I'm going to do destroyer run, and then I'll do the Vlad run. Okay. So, drop in, and start the timer. You can see... Love that uh, proc, it just destroys stuff around them. And boom. So, I don't know what his area effect is, but it's actually quite nice. Um, I'm trying to make a point where 
this hero you pay a scads of money for and get for sure or would you rather have a chance out of lad and I know some people don't even have pumpkin dukes in them sorry to you guys out there but um, I think I think it's a little bit skewed I think if anything, Vlad should be the hero you spend a bunch of money to get for sure. That's just my opinion, of course. It doesn't really matter. Um, you see that life trade doing quite nice. Um, I don't see where his deflect comes in very well. Maybe I just need to spend more time with him and have him a lot of solo. But he, he works really good as a solo person, but he's not as good as any other five or six heroes out there when rating. So I don't see him doing good in that. Um, haven't really tried him extensively in Arena. I've tried a few times, but it doesn't seem to make any difference if I swap him out for Vlad or vice versa or have them side by side. It, it really doesn't seem, you know, at this point in the game, um, you need to have a team of here. Okay, we're getting close to the end here. 124 seconds, 126, 127, 128, really taking aside 131, 132. 130, uh, 135.50, so we're going to give him 135, and he got the shard drops, yay, okay, now, I was using Minnow as showing how effective he can be in rating, and let's see here, so we got some new videos coming out guys, um, pay attention, um, some of them might have prizes, I'm not going to ruin the surprise, but um, definitely watch, and for you guys who are always out there watching every video, thank you so much, you helped me out a lot with the comments shout out to Blair White for all the support and you other guys who come on I'm like got making a shout out video to all you guys but you know who you are I really appreciate it so okay so we got Vlad here we're gonna take him same dungeon same specs hang on let me reset the watch so 135 holding to reset there we go and let's see here and we're just going to drop and let him, oh, and start. So, Vlad is just king of all things awesomeness. Probably the best hero all around, bar none. I mean, Pumpkin Duke Cupid, he's he's a one-man army. You know, he can heal himself, he has high attack, uh, his attack speed's not bad. Oh, like a .2 seconds slower than an average, but... I mean, what you get for that is crazy. And, like, on paper, as it's been said before many times, he doesn't look that strong because, like, other people have uh, faster attack speed, uh, more HP. You know, Orcsbane looks a lot better, but Orcsbane they've got crap on this guy. You know, he can heal himself tremendous amounts. And this here is only, I only have him as 6 of 10, so. But, as you can see, he just annihilates those walls. The walls look like a minesweeper. You know, I've... I've showed that in a previous video but you can see just nothing nothing can I mean I actually have uh, this one is is loaded for bear um I think he's one of the better setups right now um, I have an M sky pretty high and um, he has okay we're getting 113 114 116 116 so I mean definitely uh, not a huge difference in seconds, but a, a definite difference. And I think even when I get Destroyer up where Vlad is, because Vlad does have a you know slight HP boost and stuff like that, I still think I'm going to prefer Vlad over Destroyer. Um, the again, the only thing they have different is the uh, deflect, a little bit of H, uh, not HP, but attack difference. Because on these type of heroes, that's all you really are worried about. Um, the War God might make a little bit of difference, but I'm not going to switch it just to find out. Um, I really like this. Uh, he's great for, uh, Vlad's great for based events, because I got that almost a full level 2 revive, but it doesn't matter. If you have level 1, it's the same difference, because he comes back and you don't lose him on raids. So, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll be making a few uh, videos throughout this holiday weekend, so stay tuned and keep your eyes open for those special events. Thanks for watching. Survival 8 out.